Dear Divine Aries, welcome to your reading for the second half of February, the 14th to the 28th. But of course, anytime you come to this reading is the right time for you because it, it's also timeless and depends on where you are in your journey. And what I've been feeling for these readings is that what my personalized readings, I tend to just go into the messages before I pull the cards because for some people, I've been feeling things outside of just reading on the cards. And what I've been feeling for you, Aries, is that that you're really caught up in your head about something or someone like maybe there's something that you're kind of obsessed about right now it could be a person or it could be something that you did with this person or said with this person or had with this person a conversation a dynamic like maybe you're hyper planning like you're hyper focused like you know you're really getting into like a compulsive energy maybe you're not acting on anything in this moment but you need to be mindful that your energy could be like really um sent and spent on something or someone and so how to bring that energy back i think your guides are trying to tell you that like you need to be in a higher vibration meaning like i i really know that it sounds hierarchical to talk about things like that so i want to be mindful that i'm using that word just because i really wish i had another word for that and i have to think on that but Basically, it's about like really keeping your energy and your thoughts in a place that will be light, you know, like not heavy, not too deep, not not planning, overanalyzing, thinking like kind of redirecting a little bit right now because it could really be helpful to you if you weren't diving in too deep about this thing that you were like you know and you might be like well I can't help it that's just what's happening and it's like even just starting by acknowledging it you don't have to do anything about it yet if that's not where you're at just start acknowledging how long you keep thinking about this person or situation and, or conversation or whatever like and notice like oh I've been thinking about this throughout my entire day I've been thinking about this throughout my entire week and noticing like how much energy is being expended there, you know? What other messages do you have for divine areas at this time? Spirit guides, angels, elevated ancestors, please bring in these messages with clarity. Please help Aries to get the messages that they need. Please help the Aries Collective. All right, so we have the page of swords the page of cups the hangman you have the two of um pentacles the ten of cups and the chariot um drink some water mm. wow <laughs> i just got this like I just got this feeling that some of y'all are not being around anyone. I mean, you know, that's a reality for a lot of people right now. But I feel like you're not, like, you might have made a big sweep in your life. You might have cut people out or, I don't know, had certain arguments or said certain words or you're just on guard. I feel like you could be, like, really in your head. Well, I kind of said that at the beginning, right? But, like, feeling really in your head, just, like, really taken by this um, Air Aquarius season. You know, and also last year, all the Mercury retrogrades were in um, air signs. And then we had a Mercury retrograde recently. And I feel like, I wonder the impact of so many air sign Mercury retrogrades in one year. And like, for those of us that are sensitive, like spiritually sensitive, psychic, um, how it might affect us to have that many retrogrades in an air sign. You know, I feel like there's something about communication, something about space, something about distrust that's coming up here. And it really, like, it needed to happen for a while, but now you're finding out that, like, you're a little lonely. Some of y'all are just, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just gonna put it out there. Some of y'all are just thirsty, you're just horny, you're just like, and I'm not trying to shame you, okay? I'm not shaming you, it's just how you're feeling, maybe, some of you, okay? And you guys are saying, like, you have a lot of new perspective that you're trying to get. And I think that some of you have actually gained this new perspective already, but some of you are not. I feel like, ugh, like there's some, some of you are taking like mushrooms or psychedelics or like some heavy stuff that's like mind altering or maybe like 
you're drinking or you're doing something mind altering basically to gain like a different perspective like to think about things differently maybe because you are overwhelmed by everything that you've been thinking but your guides are saying that like whatever there's something that's kind of cramping your style when it comes to your money um something that keeps you in a loop and it might be that thing whatever that was that i was picking up on i mean it's probably i don't know how much how much psychedelics you'd have to be doing to not make any money but <laughs> you're basically it might not be that you know if there's something something mind altering that's like tends to like kind of uh just like get in the way a little bit when it comes to money and makes things a little bit more difficult that don't have to be as difficult uh and i feel also for some of you your inner child like the little babies are really triggered okay you might have gotten really triggered maybe from feeling abandoned by the like even if it was you walking away from certain relationships i'm feeling some triggeredness around abandonment issues and you know like just feeling like oh um I don't have anybody I'm lonely or like I'm never gonna date or I'm never gonna do this or that or like I don't know but I feel like suddenly like out of nowhere like you're just gonna be like wait that's not true <laughs> because I'm the shit <laughs> and you're gonna get back to your Aries self and I think it's going to be because of a realization you make around your money like I think you're going to change something in your mindset or your understanding um about money and indecision like maybe part of the reason why like whatever you were going through around money and like your mind your brain not just being in the right place or something that indecision is is a lot of the thing it's like you don't want to commit to a decision you don't want to just do this and then commit to it and you might be pushed into committing to something a business idea a project a collaboration of some sort that like also alters some paths here and forces you to like be more clear-headed in a way where you're just like oh like i need to be here and conscious for this and your guides are also going to bring in you know a connection i think you could have uh, many different opportunities coming in but i think for some of you i'm reading this opportunity as an opportunity to like and get intimate okay you could be getting really intimate with somebody somebody who um i'm not feeling like it's a long-term thing right now it could be you know like it, all right let me let me pull a few more cards because this five of pentacles is like where are you coming from okay the, there's a five pentacles the three of wands and the um the wheel of fortune like some of you are just also feeling anxious about repeating a certain cycle and feeling like you're doomed to keep going back to the same person or situation. But your guys are like, even when you go back, quote unquote, to somebody that you actually are not going back anywhere, <laughs> you know, like your guys are saying like you never can go backwards. You always go forward. The wheel is always turning and like, you know, you aren't going back like. You're, you're always going to be like kind of spun off in the in the forward direction and um i'm also feeling that your guides want you to like liberate yourself some of you are feeling like sexually stifled or maybe you're experiencing your sexuality in a new way you know like you could have gotten gender affirming surgery or like some kind of change in your body or your energy and like you could be um experiencing like something of euphoria and like you could be experiencing your body in, in your truth um some of you have like you know reached a weight loss goal or a weight gain goal or something related to the body and it's just making you think better about yourself and like that's like how it's gonna unfold some of you might already be there in the energy some of you are going towards that energy i feel like some of you are going to try to get into a relationship with somebody who is just like kind of airy at first okay so for whoever needs to hear this there's somebody who's like here i feel like you're gonna get into a relationship with somebody who's just like really airy at first but ends up being like very earth sign like and like very grounded and it's gonna be so 
amazing like it's going to like put an end to a lot of your anxieties because maybe you've been wanting to connect to this person for so long or you've been wanting companionship and like something's finally happening in in direction of that in a way that will like yeah i think we're going into some love stuff i'm gonna pull some more cards for that but yeah i feel like you're definitely going to feel it's like <laughs> i would go back to that thirsty <laughs> Thing that i said earlier i feel bad for saying that but i also don't um but yeah it's like getting a drink of water after being really thirsty that's how i feel like you're just gonna be like oh, like oh i need that <laughs> we have the devil card of course the devil has to come out around that right the devil card has to come out about that it's like earthly things it's capricorn energy um Let's see what else your guides want to say about love and connection. All right, so we have the Hierophant, we have the Four of Cups, we have the Devil, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Oh, you should do this. Okay, so we have like Taurus Cap energy. We have a lot of Earth Sign energy, but we have some old feelings here. We have some old feelings creeping in, trying to be like people are garbage and we don't trust people. And um, they're just not, nobody's cutting it for me. And then also wanting that intimacy is kind of a hard thing. So your guides are asking you to be more committed to, you know, going out and spending time around certain people or like opening yourself up, like letting go a little bit. Um, because you are, even if you go slow, you can go slow, you can go so, so slow. You don't have to rush into like a huge like party with everyone with their masks off or whatever. Like that's not what I'm talking about, you know? Like don't even go to that cat catastrophized dramatic event. Like I'm talking about like put on your freaking comfy like outdoor clothes and like, you know, take yourself to lunch at a place that has outdoor seating or like go to a museum where there's like timed things you know so like you have to be there at a certain time and then you it's not as crowded or whatever and everyone's safe and masked and social distancing whatever makes you feel comfortable because i feel like i can sense the impact of the pandemic on your psyche and like how you might be really stressed out you know and it's like tearing you up inside a little bit to like need to have to connect to people having wanting intimacy you know like i'm joking about all that thirsty stuff but i'm feeling it like you know you could be really wanting physical intimacy and you're just like you know caught between that and i with the hair fan and the double it's like don't be like if i have sex i'm not like gonna be in a committed relationship or i'm gonna ruin my chances of like being with somebody or don't punish yourself because people haven't been faithful to you you know what i mean like just I don't know like there's just like you have to release a lot of these things and it doesn't mean you have to like forgive people and get be their friends or whatever but it's just about letting yourself have opportunities that you're restricting yourself from because you're blaming yourself for being quote-unquote naive or doing this or that in past relationships or situationships that you end up feeling like you know you were just a body or you were just fetishized or you were just this or that and your guides are like yeah not everything is going to be like a faithful fantasy marriage or this high elevated relationship in the way that you think but every relationship is an elevated experience like anytime you have been in a relationship you have been learning more and more about yourself and that person also has an opportunity to learn about themselves and that's the best we can really i mean that's a gift in itself it, regardless if we make it through the relationship and it's forever or it's, it was even good like in like ways sometimes that we wanted it to be it's about having that other perspective and i think that's what's going to help you let go is that you're going to realize like you can move slow at having like a relationship that's like long lasting but if you want to have sex you can have sex it's just about like not having to have this like dichotomy black and white thinking about how your relationship life is going to look. I think that's where all that overthinking is. It's like, okay, I'm just going to go out there. It's going to be my whole phase. Or the other part of it is like, I'm never going to have sex with anybody until I get married. You know, like it's just so black and white and it's just like not healing and helpful to you. 
You know, you, you are a flourishing, dynamic person who has a lot to offer in many different ways. So, like, being true to yourself and being true to what you need. But a lot of you are going to walk away from that thinking anyway. And even no matter what you do, no matter what decisions you end up making, you decide to do this, you decide to do that, you decide to go on the date, you decide not to go, you decide to have sex, you decide to wait, you decide... Whatever you decide is just the right thing. When I go back to that one card, the two of... um. The two of swords it's like this is the indecision that blocks your finances remember that i said that it's like it doesn't have to be even related to money it says sometimes you feel all worried about committing to something you don't want to go and commit to this you don't want to commit to that you don't want to commit to this person you don't want to commit to this energy oh they're just gonna hurt me like last time or this is just gonna happen and it's like what are you committing to are you committing to a person or are you committing to following your guides no matter where they take you? Even if it's into a situation to finish up what you started, to get closure or or to have a really good look at yourself and how you interact with certain people or certain energies. This is all, you know, a place, it's like our place to gain all this insight about ourselves. Our self-awareness grows through every interaction we have with every person, regardless of the length or depth, you know? there's that there's that Aries let's see if your guides have any last messages before we pull an angel card we have the six of cups and the five of cups you're stuck in old ways of thinking and you're stuck in old stuff and grief and you're remembering a situation or a partnership some of you may have genuinely like lost somebody like you know um like they might have passed away like a sibling um some of you may just feel a loss in sense of loss of innocence or your childhood or like uh, the kind of relationship that you thought you were going to have as a child. You're like grieving what relationships look like now because you've had enough of them that you're like, oh shit, you know, and that in itself can make us bitter. It can be like, oh, wow. All right. And then you start to build your reality out of the bleak, rea re like the bleak realizations of like dating life because you just got like knocked around in it you know like and it's just really it was just a lot for some of you so it's like you're grieving your innocence you're grieving your childhood you're grieving old fantasies you're grieving all these things and it's just like you know you're standing at at the like the the service is over the doors are closed the casket is in the ground and um it's time that you headed home you do you grieve there and it's like you kind of stay in that situation you're kind of stuck in that energy so this isn't about like somebody who freshly passed away you know or a situation that recently ended this is about you know you being in a place where you are really just stuck in the grieving process um in a way that has become stagnancy you know it's no longer just grieving anymore it's like you're stuck uh, but based on your reading, it doesn't seem like that's going to be it for very long, you know? It looks like you're going to make a decision and you're going to commit to it. And that's going to be the thing that you really needed to see. And the thing is, is that when you commit to this decision, there will be all these little things along the way. that you are going to be like, should I be doing this or should I do that or whatever? And it's like, it's just like, remember that it's not about black and white thinking. It's not about good and bad. It's not about right and wrong. It's not about I'm supposed to or not supposed to do this. It's about each experience being an opportunity for you to self-reflect, to see yourself, to enjoy yourself, to be fulfilled to experiment with this new life that you are living okay because that that loss of innocence or that past or that grieving could have propelled you into another experience of yourself you know a new life of yourself your rebirth okay so let's see what the angels have to say for you aries as we close this reading remember to like and subscribe and please do so so that these messages can reach more people and also, please get a personalized reading or check your sun, moon, rising to get more information. If this, res if this resonated with you, but you wanted a deeper reading, we have the children card from the angels. And it says, you are asked to pay extra attention to your child or your inner child right now. New children may be coming into your life very soon. This card signals that the angels see your need to play. 
have fun and honor your inner child. Perhaps you will play with your own children or grandchildren, or you might enjoy having fun with another adult or doing work that involves helping children. Take some time to ask your inner child, how do you feel and what do you like to do? Plan an afternoon where you take your inner child on an outing, doing things that allow your playful side to emerge. Swing and slide at the park, take an afternoon nap, draw on the sidewalk with chalk, or build a sandcastle. Wow, yes, that is amazing. I do a lot of inner family system work and inner child healing in my sessions for intuitive counseling. So if you want to go on that journey, I'm available for it. It's a totally different vibe than these readings that we get really creative and it's fun and it's immersive and um yeah i would love to support you if you feel that that you resonate with this i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day evening and sending you lots of love and care aries um until next time take care